Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited and happy that you guys are here. I'm taking you guys on another nail vlog, nail adventure today. I'm getting my dipping powder nails off. I have like extension nails. Um, I am going to a mission trip and it's just not, it's not ideal for me to have long nails because we're gonna be working in like mud and dirt and stuff and like I just do not want all of that gunk underneath my nail. I'm going to Vivian, I've gone to her so many times. You guys have seen her on my channel before. I am getting these nails off and then I'm getting dip powder nails. Oy. I'm getting dip powder nails on my actual nail bed and stuff. So my nails are be pretty short for the most part. I feel like my makeup looks a little weird today. Is it just me? I definitely overlined my lips a little too much and I need to put false eyelashes on and I look a little like empty, but it's fine. I'm not really going anywhere. So my hand's getting so tired. I'm hoping to do a small little Christmas design. Um, one of my really good friends here on Instagram and on YouTube, her name is Haley, she did these nail design. I'll insert a picture right here. I loved these nails so much. I was so inspired by those, so I kind of want to do something a little similar, like a brownie taupe with a white accent um, piece on it, so we'll see. Um, I'm going to focus on driving, so I'll sign off on this, um, but I will see you guys when I get to the nail salon. I also thought I would just mention this, and I'm going to be mentioning it um, in every single one of my um, nail videos I'm not a nail tech I'm not an expert I'm not um, certified I'm not saying that I am uh, I just like getting my nails done a lot and you guys like coming with me to get my nails done so I'm sorry if you are a nail expert and you are a nail tech and you're just like this girl is so annoying she doesn't know what she's talking about yes I do have a pimple patch on my forehead right now let's just get that out of the way so you guys aren't commenting like what's that thing on your forehead uh, <clears throat> yeah it's a pimple patch so let's get started with the nail process um, you guys see this all the time but this time I chose this color SP048 um, the first step to removing the dip powder extension nails is to clip off the extension um, now Vivian and I had a discussion about your guys's YouTube comments and stuff and certain comments that um, we talked about and some of the terms that I'm using won't necessarily be correct so you guys can definitely feel free to correct me if I'm wrong um, but I will definitely refer you to Vivian as well if you have any questions um, but here I am just removing off the first couple of layers of the gel polish as well as the dip powder from the last time I got my nails done. I did have a video on my channel of these nails which I will leave a link to down below in the description box for you guys as usual. And then the next thing we'll do is um, we'll take a piece of aluminum foil, cotton and some acetone. She'll wrap up my nails into this little like home for the nail to re be removed. She actually laid a warm towel over both of my hands with this on my nails to speed up the process. I'm not exactly sure what the science behind that is, but after she laid the warm towel over my hands, I waited about 10 full minutes with that on and the nails were actually um, falling off pretty well um, once we took everything off. You guys can see here she's pulling off the first couple of nails um, and the dip powder starts to come up a little bit. She still goes in with the drill in order to shave off the rest of the residue that's left on top. The feeling or consistency when she pulls the um, aluminum off the nail is kind of like jelly, but once it hits the air, it actually hardens back up again. So she removes it pretty quickly and um, kind of generally gets most of the base dipping powder off. I couldn't imagine removing dipping nails at home. Um, if that's something you guys want me to look into, I will definitely do that. If you have dip powder nails at home and you want to remove it safely, um, then I'll figure out something or I'll talk to Vivian and try to find that out for you guys. But um, it seemed like this was the most efficient and safest way. I know that some nail salons do charge for removal processes. I'm pretty sure I got charged as well. Um, I will put the total and the tip amount that I gave in the description box for detail purposes for you guys and as well as the location of the salon that I went to 
and all of Vivian's contact information if you would like to go to her if you're based in the Los Angeles area. She doesn't necessarily file my nails like to the desired shape that I want just yet. She's just kind of doing a rough file to get off the um, dip powder residue, like I said earlier. Just like a bit to um, clean up the cuticle. So as you guys just heard, Vivian wanted me to show you guys this little drill here. It's a little bit that the end um, that spins, it's really soft, but it cleans up the cuticle. She said that people in Russia, I think, um, kind of started this. I'm not exactly sure if I remember that correctly, um, but it's a really efficient removal process of the cuticle if you're doing an extension nail. Um, and it's really soft. It's not abrasive at all. It didn't hurt at all. Um, even if it looks like it does, it really didn't. And um, she was able to push back my cuticles a little bit at the same time to really lengthen my nail bed, which I really loved. Here is the OPI um, bond, I think, for the um, dip powder. This is called Slick Pour powder couture uh, fresh faced is the color i loved this color but i will say you guys it's pretty sheer so um keep in mind i did about four layers and my nails are quite hard they're pretty thick for a dip powder nail um compared to what i've done in the past I have gone over this process a lot of times on my channel so I'm not going to go in depth with the exact process but she first does three fourth layer coat then she goes in with a full um, cuticle to tip of the nail coat and then um, dips inside of the powder. Um, now I saw a comment recently that this method of her dipping my, my nail into this container was unsanitary. However, um, I spoke to Vivian about that and she said that um, if she had sprinkled, it wouldn't cover it enough. And the only way to really cover the full nail is to dip it in without wasting as much product. Um, I don't mind it. I don't think it's not sanitary. Like, I don't think it's dirty or anything. I don't mind that I share the same dipping powder as other customers. I also wanted to show you guys the process of the design nail that I was doing. So my ring finger and my thumb had the design on it. Um, it was a diagonal color with a clear on the opposite end with a white stripe going across the side. So she actually skips doing the um, dip powder until later um, and the method that she used when she does the diagonal is actually pretty interesting so if you guys are considering it um, just wait till the next clip but I just wanted to show you that we're dipping the other nails first here she's just asking me how many layers of dip powder she thinks I would need or I wanted. Um, like I said, it's pretty sheer, so I went for four coats of the dip powder. Um, and as you can see, she's dunking my nails quite a few times in between. So um, here is what she does uh, for the diagonal portion. She actually coated my entire nail, and then she will take the um, dip powder container She'll go in at an angle, and then she pulls the dip powder out, which left the angle for the um, color. Now, because of how sheer this nail color is, when I look at my nails now, um, it doesn't look as noticeable, as noticeable as you guys see here. There, We had to do a lot of coats for it to... Um, for the color to really come through but I think if you use a more opaque color like a red or even a dark pink um, you would definitely be able to see it a lot better um, now she took a brush and took the white clear as I'm showing you here dipped it inside and sprinkled it on top to give the same amount of coat and thickness as the angled side you guys will see here, right when she puts the dip powder color on over again, how sheer it became. I don't want to say it looks watered down at all, but I definitely think if I were to do this design again, I'll use a more opaque color. So once again, dipping at an angle, 
removing and tapping the excess, dipping a little bit more just to really coat it and get that opaque color that I wanted. And then she took the brush, dipped it in the clear, tapped on top and sprinkled that dip powder all over. Now, some may say that this is the more sanitary method. However, you don't get as much of a coat over the entire nail, which makes um, the nail easier to break sometimes if you're not careful. So here is the process of the bonding agent. And once all of the nails were completed, we went in with a regular nail file. Um, she began to start shaping my nails and going over the actual nail plate to smooth it out and smooth out any bumps that we saw on the sides and over the top, over the apex as well. Here we are actually filing down the nail with um, a drill and I'm not sure exactly what bit this is, but she's reshaping my nail with this bit and I asked for a square short nail um, just because I will be working with my hands a lot over the next couple of weeks. So I didn't want anything that was going to be poking out over my um, regular fingertip. Um, and then we're going in with our clear coat. Um, now this one is one you would cure in the light. As you can see, that ring finger is really light, but I actually loved the effect. I think this color would be perfect for wedding nails. Then, like I said, we cured it in the lamp for a couple of minutes. And whenever I do dip nails, I always like to cure my thumbs an extra time. Because both of my hands were occupied at the moment, um, I wasn't able to film her painting on the white stripe across, but you guys can see it here. She's now just putting cuticle oil on. These are the finished and completed nails. I really do love the way they turned out. They're very simple, very classic, really easy, good for working, and those are the final nails. I hope you guys like it. Okay, so I just got my nails done. These are the after nails. I didn't show you guys a proper before nail shot. I'm sorry, but there's a video to my before nails on my channel. But here they are. I'll put my inspo picture um, on the screen. I felt like I should do just a really cute, elegant design for my short nail look. I really like the way they turned out. They're just they're just really like simple, you know, they're not really like crazy. Um, they're nice and thick, which is good because I'm going to need them to last me a while. It's so weird to have long nails one day and then like all of a sudden have like really stubby short nails. So, um, I really love the way they look. Um, I hope you guys like them too. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already for more nail vlogs and more bra videos and more how to's, more planner videos, more outfit videos, more makeup videos, then make sure you're subscribed down below hit that notification button so that you get notified when I do upload and don't forget to follow me on Instagram snapchat and Twitter and um, yeah these are my nails I'm so so happy with them um, and I will see you guys all in the next video bye